One of those uh, guides that cracks all wise about all right, the headhunters. Yeah, you know what I want to talk about? Hot, yes. hot topic. Hit him with it. Play the hot topic theme. Hit me with the hot. Topic. I put in an internal memo to take that change. away from you. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's been I circulated. Don't replace it with, so. I don't know if that's been circulated or what. Actually, <laughs> actually, this is appropriate. Okay. Oh, then what are you dogging me for? PewDiePie controversy. Oh. What do you do now? Are you what? Where do you fall on on it? The media is trying to take down PewDiePie. PewDiePie and his supporters. Disney dropped him. They're right? fighting back. I don't care enough to have an opinion, honestly. Just, but Pewds. Don't. What's Pewds gonna do? Yeah, what's Pewds gonna do? Um. Yeah. Real talk. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> you get too big, and you're a fucking target for people that just want to, you know take you down just because you're a big enough target. So you stay at the comfortable middle. And then none of your shit can uh, bite you in the ass. Do you think that's what's happening to him? Yeah. That he is like, that. it's more that he is so big that he is kind of being taken to task. Uh... I think there's a, there's a, it's like hackers that do it for the lulls. It's, there's a way you can take away this guy's financial, uh, you know, the way he makes money. Mm -hmm. Like it's a proven way. If you watch for them to slip up, he slips up or they find something back in the logs of him slipping up and they go, aha, the thing that we can get him and take away his paycheck and create controversy. And then you attack that. You send letters to people that employ him and then they drop them. And then you have an opinion. You and all your friends laugh about it on uh the Tor browser. Let me say, let me just say real quick, I don't follow PewDiePie, I don't watch PewDiePie, and the only reason I am aware of what's going on with him now is because it's a big it's in news the news, story. yeah. But the fact that it's in the news is a little bit crazy to me because why is PewDiePie really so newsworthy? So because he's got the, one of the biggest followings of any he, entertainer on earth. Yeah. And yeah. so he has he has a large following and anything that kind of gets attached to him gets a lot of, because it's on the internet gets a lot of play and a lot of headline and all that stuff. Um, Wall Street Journal, if you go to like their Twitter, I'm not condoning anything that he did because honestly, it's 13 year old humor. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like meme. It, it is. It's, it's, it's shitty jokes for 13 year olds, whatever. I'm not going to go farther into it than that. But like the, the Wall Street Journal's Twitter is pretty like not a lot of shares, not a lot of responses, not a lot of anything, honestly, on like their Twitter. But the one story that's, retweeted, favorited, interacted with over and over and over and over again is that, and it brought them into more of a headline presence of now people are talking about Wall Street Journal. Now it, it, you, you, you've reduced like jur journalism in, in that sort of framework mm -hmm. to clickbait bullshit, which yeah. leave to Mike Fahey on Kotaku or whatever. Like we don't have to well, don't throw him under the bus. <laughs> no, the bus just ran him yeah. right over. I, I just, it, it's like he's, I'm not, again, not condoning anything that he's done or said, but to think that he's a, he's anything other than a target because he is like Rocco said, an entertainer with like the biggest following on the biggest big media site on, on the internet yeah. to think it's anything more than that. I, I don't think there's much weight or validity to it. I think that Disney already has a history of being, uh, uh, sort of linked with anti-Semitism. So now when you do oh, things that are, that, I never thought about that. Oh, that was my first thought yeah, was, they've had a Oh, Disney dropped them because of anti-Semitic comments. Oh wow, Disney, who's been dogged constantly, years and yeah. years and years for anti-Semitism. <laughs> yeah, have they? For what? For what? Walt, Walt, Walt Disney. Walt Disney had, had a ton yeah. of rumors. I hear that all the time, but like yeah, I that, never see hey, it. Hey, but you hear it all the time. It's like yeah. the Richard Gere Constant. gerbil but, thing. But, where did it come from? It's just a rumor. That's the thing. Yeah, where did it come from? Who knows? But you hear it all the time. Yeah. If you're that it's company, touchy. you have you have to you yeah. have to distance yourself from anything that's in that realm because financially mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to have this one little blip over here that's causing trouble when you have these billions mm -hmm. over here that aren't. Yeah. I think he'll be okay. I think he'll, he'll ride be up fine. the storm. I think he'll be fine. What I well, think is, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I think you'd have a lot less to worry about if the, if the um, jokes were funny. Like, 
honestly, I don't Who think anyone that? would have even thought about any of the segments that he did if there was a joke crafted. Just uh, look, look, look what it says. Death I to, agree with you. Death to all Jews. <laughs> It's not even a fucking joke. It's not. It's I, not funny. Like, I agree with not, you. It's not even funny. And I totally agree with you too. Like when yeah. you're the number one guy and you have the biggest audience, you're gonna be held to a caliber that you're other people are not. People are looking to. for you to slip up. Yeah. Uh, for fun. But I do think that he may have just stepped on one toe too many and stepped on the wrong toe, mm -hmm. and now people are are pinning him into looking for things like going back and trying to yeah. force him into this lens. Um, so, yeah, I, I, because I really, I really think you can, I really think you can make a joke about anything. But as long it, as it's funny, yeah, as long as it's True. funny. And sometimes and, you make a bad joke. And and and, I, but I see it all the time. I see it. It's not just his channel. I see this like default edgy. Like it. Honestly, the best comparison I think someone here said it earlier is when Ray William Johnson would always just say squirrel aids. Yeah. In his videos, <laughs> yeah. you might have squirrel aids. What's funny? Aids. Now, He's it's not that you cannot make a joke about AIDS. You can craft a probably a pretty funny joke that might have AIDS involved. Get Dallas back but in But that's here. not even a joke. You're just saying no. it. <laughs> no. Squirrel AIDS. Just like, uh, death to all Jews. <laughs> what was he I reacting guess, to? Uh, YouTube it's not videos even a fucking that? funny joke. Why, um, why even bother? You know what? It, honestly, and I, I'm scared to bring this up because I don't want to reopen old wounds but i feel like we got into trouble a few years ago for some off-color jokes that we made on this podcast mm, and kind of consciousness cro crossed the line with some of our comments and didn't realize how unfunny and offensive the things we were saying mm -hmm. were and i remember at that time couldn't have been me it was you i'm always funny. i remember at that time there were people who suddenly started looking at all our videos and trying to draw this <laughs> yeah and, yeah see these guys have always been like that and that's Sadly, for better or for worse, I see that's where the, the, the situation PewDiePie finds himself in now. And I find it interesting. because He's like a target, so let's go back and try to pin some more shit on him. And get the conspiracy rolling. Maybe, maybe. Or I think maybe sometimes when uh, somebody just finally pisses you off, it, something snaps in you and, and you're, you kind of have a whole new look on them. And you're like, you know what? Maybe I want to go back. I used to like this guy, but maybe I'll go back. And I don't like him now. And you kind of just like, you know. I think a normal person, though, would like, all right, for me, I just don't watch his videos. Maybe if I had a chip on my shoulder about him, I would dislike his videos. You know what? I'll go thumbs down his videos. I don't like these. But like to write in letters to his supporters or his uh, sponsors or whatever to try to get him dropped. I don't know. That just takes another level of you've got no fucking life. You've got tons of time. You're not yeah. really offended. No one's really offended by this. Maybe, I think maybe some people are. Uh, people that watch PewDiePie videos are in the age range <laughs> of like none of his fans 10 are offended. To four nobody so, who really cares about PewDiePie. So okay, is so yeah, but it's 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 like there's a button here that right now we can push and get a reaction. So let's go push it. So, like, yeah. that type of person is the only type of person that's, like, actively trying to hurt him financially. I but, think, like you said, he'll be fine. I, I think he'll be fine because I think, like, he's uh, doing better than ever now. Uh, just being in the news has, is, has raised his awareness beyond what it already fucking was. And you know what's great was, uh, and this has always happened throughout time, the stuff your parents and teachers told you, like, for music not to listen to, that's the stuff, like, you in the, in the 80s, they p teachers told kids, like, you shouldn't listen to the Dead Kennedys. You shouldn't listen to Metallica. You shouldn't listen to these bands. Everyone I knew that got told that ran out to find those albums. Uh, yeah, it's like You're, the forbidden fruit those aspect kids of it. That watch PewDiePie, their parents are seeing on the nightly news like, what is happening? All these things. And going to their kids going, You guys can't watch PewDiePie anymore. <laughs> no more they're PewDiePie. Making him fucking cooler than yeah, ever. They're making him cool because the kids are going to school going, yo. I got pewds on my phone. Let's go watch in the bathroom in between classes. It's going to become like the new cool thing to do to get nice. at your parents. That's what I want to talk about. I'm glad we got that out. Do we get into chest. depth enough? I think so. All right. I think it was, you know what? I, it's honestly a shitty topic, but I think we covered it as best you could. I mean, there's a lot more important things going on in the world than yeah. internet celebrities. But it is funny that that does get like national media coverage. 
YouTube's YouTube celebrities are now international news. That's the real story. I'm just waiting for one of you to slip up, and I'm going to sell it to the Inquirer. We've slipped up so many times. Yeah. So uh, you think we're like I? I kind of feel like Teflon at this point. You know what? Actually, I was watching an interview with what Robin Williams. I, said? I was watching an interview with Robin Williams, kind of describe his approach to comedy, and he said something that really made me feel good about myself. And it was it was something along the lines of. I'm very wacky. I'm very insane. I go crazy with my comedy. But there was then a dot, 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 and he goes, sometimes I cross the line. Sometimes I do, and I don't intend to. But you know what? I just feel like I'm in this exploratory state with my comedy. I'm out of control sometimes. He's like, I don't like doing that, but sometimes I do. And it's just like kind of this admission from like a comedy genius and a comedy great, which is like, yeah, sometimes... In, in the pursuit of making people laugh and just being stupid and being oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you cross lines that you don't intend to. You, you got to learn where that are. line is sometimes, Happens too. to everybody. Happens to Robin Williams. Happens to everybody. 